Hello and welcome into another disability video talking about public transport in New Zealand. I'm mainly going to be talking about Auckland public transport and mainly buses because I live in Auckland and I mainly use a bus as my form of public transport. I'm also going to be talking about vision impairment and blindness as that is the main issue around public transport. There are some physical things as well when it comes to physical disabilities, but again, I'm just going to be relating this to myself and those of you who have more severe physical disabilities or struggles, you can let me know in the comments down below your experiences with public transport and things like trains other than just buses. Some of what I say for buses can also transfer to things like trains as well, but I'm just going to be mainly focusing on my form of public transport that I have experienced and just talking about the ways that I think that the Auckland and New Zealand public transport system can improve to make it more accessible for those with a blindness or vision impairment and how we can make it easier for us to navigate the public transport system in New Zealand and in Auckland. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today and again relating it to blindness and vision impairment as I feel like that is the main issue here. But again, all disabilities have their own struggles. The first thing I want to talk about in terms of accessibility are the numbers on the side of the bus. They usually have them on both sides of the bus and they are quite small. They are a large print but not large enough and they're usually only in a small little corner or spot on the bus and recently they've been doing digital numbers as well which are you know like those digital clocks and they are usually red and very hard to see especially from far away distances the numbers on the side of the bus were already tricky and now they're even more tricky with the digital option now what I think could make it easier, especially for those who are visually impaired and still have the remainder of their sight, would be to have either those stickers that you get for rubbish bins where they have the numbers or to actually paint the numbers on the side of the bus. That way you can have it be written in very large print and seen from far distances away and each bus should be required to have this. Now depending on the type of bus and where the windows are or how big they are will depend on where the numbers need to be located. So they might be located in different places on the bus, but just as long as they're painted on or they have gigantic stickers that are really easy to see, I think would be very, very beneficial and very helpful to those who can't see very well or very far away. So that way they can know when the bus is actually coming. And this is something that I've been wanting them to do for a long, long time but that hasn't happened yet and it's something that has been frustrating me as a bus user. I've been riding the bus for many years now and I haven't really seen this change at all. I've seen them have the AT symbol which is for our app where you can have the public transport. You use it for all different public transport. So that is helpful to let you know about the system but again that doesn't need to be big. What does need to be big are the numbers on the side of the bus telling you this is number 74, this is number 75. So that way, as you are going along trying to catch the bus and a bus arrives, you can know whether or not it's your bus. The second point I want to make is in regards to the bus app, which I just mentioned, the AT app for the AT hop card. Now, that app is for buses and trains, I believe. I don't know about all different public transport, but I use it for the bus and it allows you to actually track the bus that is arriving and know what time it's coming and all of that. So you're able to get to your bus stop and then wait for the bus to arrive and all of that. But there isn't an option that I know of where you can actually read it to you. So you know, things like being able to track it. Now, when it comes to things like maps, there are obviously maps that you have that will often read the route in your car to you. And I think something like that for the bus route would be very helpful where within the app, you can click a button and it'll read the bus route to you, telling you the route that the bus is going on, either when it's arriving at your bus stop for you or just along 
the way as you go on the bus. I think this would be very helpful for both blind and visually impaired, also making it more voiceover accessible for those who are completely blind as well with that navigation option that I talked about that allows the app to read to you the different bus stops and the bus route. So I think that would be very beneficial for both blind and visually impaired. The next thing I want to discuss are those digital signs that you see at train stations and bus stops that tell you when the bus is arriving and the number of the bus. Same for trains as well. And something in New Zealand that we don't have are a button you can press that will read these out to you. Now I'm not sure about the train station, but for buses at bus stops, even if they have the digital sign, they do not have a button you can press where it'll read it out to you. And I did already kind of discuss this when talking about the app and how it speaking to you would be very helpful. I think this is the same for that as well, because when it comes to train stations, at least what I've seen from train stations in other countries, they will often read out what is on the boards, telling you what bus is arriving or what train is arriving and at what time. Again, I don't know about buses, but for trains especially, they do have those signs that read out, okay, this is when the train arrives, this is the number of the train, this is when it's leaving, this is when it's coming, all of that stuff. And again, I think this would be very beneficial for buses as well. It's a little bit harder to do, but I've seen it with crossings where they have the little beeper that tells you when it's time to cross. And for some of those, they also have a button you can press where it will speak to you and tell you when it's free to cross or what's happening. And I think, again, this would be very helpful for buses where on the sign that it's reading out the times of the bus's arrival and the name of the bus. So where those digital signs have it written, it speaks it out by just pressing a button. And I think this is available in some places, but not everywhere. And I think it would be very beneficial to have that option for those who are blind or visually impaired to be able to know when to catch their bus or when their bus is arriving. Same for when they cross the road. Because again, it's very helpful and it's a safety issue for, you know, making sure you get on the right bus, you know which bus is yours, you know when it's arriving, you know what time to be there. But obviously, when it comes to actually being at the bus stop already, you're waiting for your bus, especially if you're in a busy area where lots of buses arrive at once, you want to know which bus you need to catch. So having it read out to you would be very helpful knowing if your bus has arrived or not. Again, this would also be helpful for those with vision impairments with, like I said, the buses having the big number on the side as well. So all of those things are very important for making sure you catch the right bus at the right time. Now, I am going to get slightly political here and please remember that these are just my views and opinions and you may have different ones and that is totally fine. This is just me sharing my experiences catching the bus. Now, something that I've noticed in recent years compared to when I originally caught the bus. Now, because I still have a lot of sight, it wasn't a huge deal if I sat by the window or sat up front. But it was still very difficult for me to know when my stop was actually coming up. And the app wasn't that helpful to me to know when that stop was. So something, again, would be for the app to read to you when your stop is coming up. But another thing would be for the bus to speak it like you have on trains, where when you catch the train, it will tell you, okay, this stop is coming up, this stop is coming up, and you know, what time things are arriving and all of that stuff, which is actually on the train as you're going through it. So that being on a bus is very helpful, and that is something we never had here in New Zealand. You know, maybe you're busy on your phone, and you're not really paying attention to when your bus stop is coming up, and you want to know, oh no, have I missed my stop? You know, that kind of stuff, and that often comes from trains, and again, it's very common on trains for them to have that because people may not be able to see when their stop is coming up, so they have it spoken to them. And again, this is something that we didn't have for buses in New Zealand. 
I don't know the full story, so maybe things like vision impairment and blindness were considered finally, or maybe this is just a byproduct of the Maori culture being included into buses and into society. Now, it actually reads it out to me, but it reads it out to me in both Maori and in English. Now, again, this is not a huge issue for people who want to learn Maori or who, you know, want to have that be included. I never once actually heard it say my bus stop was coming up. I had to either ask the bus driver or look out the window for myself or ask someone else on the bus. I could never listen and hear it. This is only something that has come up recently and again, I do not know if they finally took into consideration vision impairment and disability or if this is something that is a result of the Maori language being included in our everyday. If it is, then it's just a happy coincidence that now it's benefiting blind and visually impaired. If it is on purpose, then I'm very grateful that it was included as the social model of disability, as something that includes the Maori culture, as well as including disability. But again, I do not know which it is, and that is something that really bothered me because I, again, do not have a problem with the different languages. What I do have a problem with is the fact that this is something that only came up because of a result. It is a byproduct of us now incorporating the Maori language into the buses and into other forms of public transport just so that we can hear the different languages. Especially for people who are blind and cannot actually see, they are not able to know, my bus stop is coming up. I might be able to know using the limited vision I have, but there are so many people, like I said, who are completely blind or have less vision than I do, who are not able to look out the window and know when their stop is coming up. I just wish that that already existed long before we added the Maori language option to it because that is something that should have existed already and since catching the bus with that option I have gotten to my bus stop every time you know I've arrived at the mall I've been able to get there very easily I could text my mum on the phone because I knew I just had to listen what I can say is I'm happy it exists now I think that being able to have the places read to you is very, very important and something that should be a requirement within buses and trains, not just trains. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye!